Any grievances? I love grievances. Festivus. Let's start with this one. Jaguars owner Shad Khan fired Tom Coughlin on Wednesday, two days after the NFL Players Association warned players of potentially signing with the franchise because of excessive fines and player grievances. Wow. Khan said he initially decided to make the move once the season ended, but the letter sent by the NFLPA to its players clearly accelerated his timetable. Um, the NFLPA said on Monday that more than 25% of player grievances filed in the last two years have been filed against the Jaguars. The union's take, they said this, uh, you as players may want to consider this when you have a chance to select your next club. They're basically telling their people don't sign in Jacksonville as long as that man is in charge. Yeah. Well, that's not going to work. That's fireable. And he has now been fired. Yeah, you have to do that. But doesn't it, there's a bit of this. Now, obviously, you know, Coughlin did overreach. But there's also a bit of this where it's a sign of the times where players are taking over. There's no longer, like, teams are no longer clearly in charge anymore. And you're seeing more and more of the players... Now it's not just star players that have power. It almost feels like now all players. Like the, the power is, the pendulum is swinging towards the players more than ever before. Well, I would say this. So? I would say this, and, and I like Tom Coughlin, but I don't even think this is about, like, players' power. Tom Coughlin was essentially just not following rules. Like, there are league-mandated rules in the collective bargaining agreement about what does and doesn't qualify as a mandatory yeah. event. And it sounds like there were players for the Jaguars getting fined for not showing up to things that were not mandatory, maybe, which is, of course, that's, that's, that's a against problem. league rules. Yeah, he, maybe he wasn't even aware of it. Like, uh, that's, 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 that's a concern. That's just impossible you, you to You would think that's impossible to believe, right? But what does it say? I mean, I guess... Because we know, you know, we know him. Is he a bad guy? No. Like, Tom Coff is not a bad guy, evil guy, right? He's not no, a bad no, guy. No, 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 So there's something behind this where he probably felt like this locker room's out of control and I've got to get control of it. And the only way to get to a player sometimes is through their wallet. There, there has to be something said about what was going on with that organization that he felt that he had to go to that extreme. Well, Cause we've all met the guy. We don't. We know about him. He's not like this evil guy that's just looking to make everybody miserable. No, of course not. So there's something deeper to this, which he probably felt like. But I, there's nothing else I can do. But I again, do but, but what I would say to that is, okay, Bill, he needed to do something to get that locker room under control. But he's the one who put that locker room together. He puts the You're roster right. together. Like he compiled this group of players. No, I know. So, I know. You know, either way, it doesn't look great for him. Uh, the news of Coughlin's firing was not being mourned by some former players. Here's Emmanuel Acho on Get Up Today. This news brought so much joy to me <laughs> because it vindicates so many people. Jalen Ramsey, you were right. Leonard Fournette, you were right. Dante Fowler, you were right. I'll say this, and I think this applies in a household and it applies on a football field. Rules without relationship equals rebellion. Rules without relationship Ooh, equals rebellion. Like that. Tom Coughlin showed up with a whole bunch of rules, but he had no relationships. And guess what? Player after player after player after player started to rebel. Simple as that. That's a great point that he made. I that. like that line. Yeah. Yeah. Rules without relationships that equal rebellion, which again, giants. Uh -huh. But Well said, yeah. But him saying that Leonard Fournette, like we're going to side with... Jalen Ramsey and Leonard Fournette when it comes to character? I mean, come on. But maybe it's a little strong. But if they're being fined for things that are <clears throat> collectively bargained that the players don't need to be at, like what? Tom Coughlin, it, kind of, he, 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 has, that, he has shown an ability to change with I'm the times, sorry, but I it feels like he was unable to on this. You're not wrong, but there has got to be a part of you that looks and thinks, so guys weren't showing up to things, and he and maybe they didn't have to show up, right? But Coughlin's like, you know what, we... Show some ownership on the, in this team. You guys are stars. Show some ownership. Be part of the solution here. But You're not coming to these things. That's not a fine, though. No, I know it's not. I'm that's not saying thing, what he did was fine. right. But you get to that point where you almost exasperated. Like, seriously? Like you you never showing up if you don't have to? But Do maybe, you care at all? But maybe to to the point of the clip we just heard, the relationship wasn't that's there correct. to get that. True, so right. if you build the relationship, they want to be a part of it. If you treat them from the beginning like children, they rebel. Well, they had success immediately. And they got fat off the success, clearly, and then he didn't know how to, what else to do other than punish. That's all he knows. That was the only thing he knew what to do, was punish. Was there, was there um, near Super Bowl run his first year there? Yes. Interesting. Because that would be the same thing as Odell then. He's Immediate success, he's not able to 
hone in these young guys having immediate they got, success. They got fat off the success, became I mean, stars, and yeah. so fell it apart, Fell apart instantly. I believe he's 73. Do you think... There's another gig? Is, yeah. In some form, I don't, I'm he'll, not... He'll, a, he'll never coach. Uh, you, you won't give him the keys to your franchise like Jacksonville did. So a consultant is probably the best I can see him at this point. Wow. Which, is, which is still not a bad thing. It's good to have a guy like that around, but he, he likes to be in charge. That's pretty clear. It's kind of a... So it, can he do it? If this is kind of like his last real moment in the, in the yeah, spotlight, it's, not it's a kind, of, kind of a sad ending to, to, like we said, who, a guy who's a good man mm -hmm. and who has had a, a tremendous career. No, it, it's a really good point. If this is the end for the, for the success he had here and he had the kind of guy and moral fiber that he appears to have, it's a sad ending. Yeah. It's not ideal. Speaking of